What's going on, family? Back on here with the Juke Man. And today we're going to be discussing the Giants versus the Houston Texans in New York City. I know that crowd is going to be rocking. But before we dive into that, make sure you subscribe down below. Road to 1K is still active, man. Got a lot more content coming your way. Comment down below your predictions for the game, man. Let's dive straight into it. All right, so my what to watch for, man. There's intriguing matchups all over this field. The Texans aren't that good of a team, but they have some individual players that are pretty good. So we're going to see what, how we stand up against them. Um, first and foremost, going to be Damian Pierce versus Saquon Barkley, man. Saquon Barkley being the talented running back he is. Best running back in the league. No bias in that, included in that. But uh, Saquon Barkley, man, you already know he's going to need to have a big game for us to win this game. Every single game, I need Saquon Barkley to get it rolling. Watching the Texans, I haven't really watched them that much, but seeing them play against the Eagles, they can give up the Run, but the Eagles also know how to run the ball very well but I think that's what we do as well so hopefully Saquon Barkley can have a big game and Damian Pierce is a beast on the other side as well I had him on my fantasy team I traded him away but uh he's a dog bro he's a dog so the defense is gonna have to keep him in check two very good running backs and probably the best players on each side of the ball for each team so shout out to the running backs and then next we're gonna go into the quarterbacks Daniel Jones versus Davis Mills Davis Mills he surprised everyone coming out of the draft about two years ago um, no one really expected him to do what he did or not two years ago just last year so davis mills he's not one that's gonna davis mills has similarities to daniel jones like you don't think he's gonna beat you but then he can low-key surprise you and still win the game um they haven't won that much but he can take the top off the defense he can throw the ball pretty well um so we need to make sure we keep davis mills in check and of course daniel jones has to outplay davis mills he cannot let davis mills outplay him daniel jones needs to come in and have a big game at home and uh hopefully we throw him off his game and then one of the other intriguing matchups is going to be the pass rushers. We got Jerry Hughes and Kayvon Thibodeau. Kayvon being a rookie, Jerry Hughes being an experienced pass rusher, man. I saw him on that Thursday night game, and he was taking over. Like, he was taking over um, off of that Eagles offensive line. You know, he's going to be lined up against Andrew Thomas, so I think he should keep him in check. But uh, if he goes on the other side, man, it's going to be a little intriguing. We got Tyree Phillips out there. I think they're going to run that back. And uh, with Evan Neal out. That's going to be something to look forward to. Hopefully, we can make sure that we keep an eye on Jerry Hughes and make sure he does not blow up this game. And then Kayvon Thibodeau needs to blow up their game plan on the other side. Kayvon Thibodeau is like pushing for a big game like his big game is coming soon he's gonna have a multi sack game coming soon you can already see his bend around the edge and i need him to do that and be a difference maker against the texans and now my who to watch for no secret daniel jones is one of the people that we need for him to have a big game and just step up last game was rough i'm not gonna lie you know we don't have any receivers but he went into halftime with like 17 passing yards like we cannot have that you know playing in seattle was tough and it's always going to be rough if you're playing in seattle now we're playing home it should be a little easier on them and the texans aren't the greatest on defense but hopefully you know daniel jones is able to make some things work and make sure he can use his legs the seattle seahawks just shut us down so hopefully this there's not a blueprint out on stopping the giants offense daniel jones is due for a big game throwing the ball and also rushing the ball um, on the other side is Landon Collins, including the linebacker core, man. Once again, Damian Pierce is a beast, and we need to make sure that we're stopping him with everything that we can. You know, this defensive line is talented, as you know, Dexter Lawrence, Leonard Williams, so on and so forth. But this linebacker core is probably the weakest part of our team, and we really need the linebackers to step up, make sure they're making tackles, not missing any tackles, and filling the right holes. Landon Collins, I expect him to have a bigger facet into this game. After Xavier McKinney's going to be out for this game, you know, I don't see Landon Collins stepping in at safety, but I could see them going through three safety and Landon Collins might be that safety in the box aka pretty much a linebacker so hopefully the linebackers can step up man the linebacker is going to be an x factor to see if we can stop Damian Pierce and stop this rushing game on the Texans and last but not least man my road to victory man these are the players that they need to have a big game in order for us to win this game and one of them is going to be Leonard Williams bro like Leonard Williams probably had his best game against the Seahawks last game um, he had a sack and he had a couple tackle for loss. I need him to have that same output against the Texans. You know, no notable really offensive linemen in the interior. So, so Lennon Williams needs to feast along with Dexter Lawrence on the inside. You know, both of them need to have a big game, but I need Lennon Williams to make his presence known. Get Davis Mills to escape out of that pocket and don't let him sit in that pocket and try to dice this up. You know, Davis Mills isn't a world beater, but I don't want to see him just have all the time in the world and be able to dice this up. I don't want to see Davis Mills comfortable in that pocket. And on the other side of the ball, man, Wando Robinson, bro. Wide receiver is probably the weakest part of our offense. So linebackers on the defense, wide receivers on the offense. We didn't trade for anybody. That just shows that they kind of have some confidence for the people in the building, I'm assuming. Wando Robinson is due for a big game. He needs a big game. He needs to come out, at least score one touchdown, maybe over 100 yards. We haven't had a over 100 yard receiver yet. 
which is crazy to think about so hopefully Wandale can do this thing Derek Stingley is a good cornerback but he doesn't really match up into the slot so that leaves Wando Robinson for whoever they have in the slot and I I'll take my guy over there is Wando Robinson you're due for a big game in order for us to win this game Wando Robinson needs to have at least a touchdown or 100 yards one or the other and we're escaping this game with the W all right, y'all. So that is going to wrap it up for this preview, man. A short little preview. Not too much to talk about as far as the Texans. This bye week was way too long. You know, how do we end up losing the bye week with Xavier McKinney getting hurt? Coming out of the bye week and facing the Texans, man, I feel like that's just what the doctor ordered after we had a kind of rough first half of the schedule and coming off a loss. This is definitely a team that I see us beating and we should be able to beat. And next game is going to be Detroit, too. We need to win these two games so we can be 8-2 and two before we take on anybody else in the division. So hopefully the Giants can do their part. Hopefully they take care of what they have to take care of and we should be 8-2 after these two games, but I'm not going to look too far ahead. The score prediction for this game is going to be 24-14, to man. 24-14. to I really want this offense to hit 30 points. I just don't know when it's going to happen. We could have hit 30 points against the Ravens, but, you know, Saquon slid, which I don't blame him, trying to run out the clock and win the game. But I want to see this team score 30. I don't know if it's going to be on this team. Maybe against Detroit, because Detroit has a very, very, very bad defense, but... I guess in Texas, man, 24 to 14 is going to be my score prediction. Giants taking the W. We will be 7 and 2 facing the Detroit Lions next, man. So I expect us to have a good game this game, and we're going to escape with that W. And before we dip out of here, man, make sure you subscribe down below. Road to 1K is still active, man. Like it up down below and comment what you think about this game. Are the Giants going to escape with the W? Can the Giants be 7 and 2, man? 7 and 2 sounds unrealistic, man. It doesn't even sound like it would have been a thought in the preseason. So it's crazy to think that we're there. We should be able to take care of the Texans, and we should be heading 7 and 2 against the Detroit Lions. So I got more videos to my left right here if you haven't seen any of this content. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Giants are undefeated, man. The Giants are undefeated. Clap it up. Clap it up. <laughs> yes, sir. When it comes to the most valuable player, most valuable player to the team, most valuable player on the best team. I think this team is in good hands. And if we are healthy, the whole East needs to be on a lookout.